Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Last week I got to attend VAMP with Priceline, which was so exciting. I will have a vlog listed down below if you wanted to see what it was like for me. So I have teamed up with Priceline to bring you this video today where I'm going to recreate one of the looks that I saw on the runway. So I have created the triple pink makeup look, which is super romantic. Sarah Laidlaw created this look and I am just obsessed with it. It is so pretty. I'm like trying to look at my eyeshadow. <laughs> and I've also recreated the asymmetrical top knot, which was created by Kenneth Stoddart. Guys, this looks so runway and I did it so easily. Like it looks so cute, right? So while these were on the runway, they are super easy to achieve just at home by yourself. In this video, I'm going to show you how I achieved these looks. So let's get into it. Starting out with the original primer from Australis. Now this one is just an all round good primer. It helps smooth out fine lines on your skin as well as making your makeup last long. I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. This is in the shade 34 Soft Bronze. So I'm just going to dab that all over my face and then blend it out with a beauty sponge. Now with your foundation, you do want to choose one that is a yellow based foundation. A pink based foundation will just make this look look over the top kind of thing. So if you're not too sure on a yellow based foundation, you can always ask your Priceline beauty advisor and they can point you in the right direction. But the main thing is to actually have it match. So you'll notice that I have fake tan on, so I'm wanting to match my face to the rest of my body. Make sure to spread the foundation down your neck and also around your ears, behind your ears to make sure everything is covered and in the hairline as well. One of my favorite concealers is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I like using the color 10 Light and I like to pop that underneath my eyes, down my nose, some on the chin and a bit on the forehead. And then just blend it out with my beauty sponge now this will just cover my dark circles, highlight that area a little bit and just give it a little bit of extra coverage that it needs. This step is totally optional, but I'm going to correct my under eye area with some NYX Dark Circle Eraser and just pop that on there. And then just blend that out. To set that under eye area, I'm going to take some Rimmel Perfect Match Silky Loose Face Powder. And I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes, down my nose. Setting the rest of my face with my Savvy Natural Pressed Powder. I do have oily skin, so I do need to set my whole face before I move on. But if you have, you know, normal to dry skin, you can probably skip this step too. While that's baking, I'm going to use the Ardell Brow Kit. I'm just going to fill them in with this color here. I'm going to take this brush from Models Prefer and just fluff away the baking, which will leave my base set beautifully and it means my under eyes will not crease. I have this Models Own Eye Primer, so I'm just gonna pop that on my lids and then blend it out with my fingers. And then just use some of that powder to set that eye. I'm going to take this peachy kind of color from the NYX Lid Lingerie little eyeshadow palette. I really, really like this palette. It's really such a great find from Priceline. So I'm just taking that on a really big fluffy brush just all through my crease just to be a transition color there. And then I'm going to take this warm toned brown and just pop that over the top but a bit more closer to the lid. Just back and forth in that, in that socket there. For the pink on the lid, I'm using the Models Own Color Chrome in Vintage Pink. So I'm just gonna take it on my finger and press that onto my lid. Oh my God, I die. So beautiful. Then taking this brown Nude by Nature eyeliner, I'm going to line my top lash line there. And just with the other end, just smudge it along that lash line. 
Been using the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara to coat my lashes. And just using the highlight shade from the Ardell Brow Kit to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. I'm using the Essence Get Picture Ready Contour Kit today. And on this large Models Prefer brush, I'm going to take the bronzer and just sweep that across the outside of my face. So in a three there. Then taking the contour color. Now I'm using one of my favorite blushes. This is a L'Oreal blush in sandalwood pink. And this will just add the pink on the cheeks as well. Oh, this blush is so gorgeous. I'm going to take a Models Prefer Mineral Powder in Photo Ready. And I'm just going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones with that. My nose. And I might just put like a little bit down the center of my face. I'm taking the Savvy Lip Liner in Rose to line my lips. Then I'm taking the Luma Just a Touch Lip and Cheek Tint. This one is in the color Muse and I'm applying it to my lips. It will leave a beautiful shine to the lips as well as adding in that extra pop of pink. Now I'm going to take the Ilua Volume Lashes in number 100. That's the makeup complete. Now let's move on and fix this hair up. <laughs> Okay, so obviously my hair is quite a mess. It is the third day after washing it. I'm going to take some dry shampoo. This is the Chlorine dry shampoo. Now, I do want to spray that where I think it will be parted down the middle. This dry shampoo actually adds volume and texture. So I'm just going to brush that all through. Next, I'm using some of this Tresemme Perfectly Undone Spray. It's a dry defining spray. I'm just gonna spray that in and then brush it back. Usually I would part my hair with my fingernail, but this requires just a bit of a messy part. So just with your fingers, just run it through as so and create a part. I'm going to take some more dry shampoo to my heart. I'm going to take the first side here. I want to leave out like a little bit of hair around my face just to soften the look a little bit, make it look a little bit messy. And then pull it up. Just take an elastic and Tie that one in a pigtail and secure. Just take some hair out on this side as well. You do want to make them not even. So see how this pigtail is up higher? I'm going to have this one a bit lower and I'm going to have it more pulled towards the back. And just spray it in the pigtail there and then just take a fine tooth comb and just tease it a little bit just back comb it make it nice and puffy and then what I'm going to do is wrap it around it just looks like so and then take some bobby pins and just secure that there And then the same with the other side. And just some light hairspray to finish it off.
well there you have it there's my finished look I had so much fun recreating these runway trends the hair just looks so effortless to be honest it actually was really effortless and it looks cute and then the makeup is just so simple and classy and romantic I love this look if you wanted to recreate any of the trends I will have the tutorials linked down below but if you needed any extra help with product recommendations of course go in and see a beauty advisor at your local price line they are more than happy to help thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you next time. Bye!